Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this particular video, you know, I will talk about one very vastly asked question to me, which is uh, by the freshers first of all. So usually there comes a time after you complete your masters or bachelors, and uh, you are from any of the background, maybe from mechanical, maybe from computer science, maybe from you know electrical. When you sit for placement, as of now, nowadays, uh, you know, even mechanical background also uh, sitting for placement and they want to work for data science or any other domain. So the question comes that how much coding is required for the placement purpose or how much should I grab the concepts? Again, a very, very vastly asked question. So here I'll try to categorize this particular question into three parts, into three uh, you know regions according to what is your objective it depends and i'm not saying that, that nothing is good or bad here it depends on three aspects see whether your reach or whether your aim is to work in a service-based company and i would say that for a starting it it's not bad that you will start with working with a service-based company itself Right, at least for those who are not from known programming backgrounds, whether you're working in a service based company or you are targeting any product based company or you want to work for any startups. Okay, so three categories are there service based, product based, and the startups. Now, when I'm talking about service-based companies, uh, there comes a lot of companies in India like Infosys, uh, you know, Cognizant and many more. The question is that in this, in these companies, your, your way of preparation will get changed somehow. Here, they will ask you some basic questions or basic knowledge they will check with respect to DSA, with respect to DSA. Again, there will be a first round where you will be provided the questions with respect to DSA and they will be given the platform. But here you will see that the questions will either be from array based data structure or from strings. Okay. Or maybe from linked list, basic, basic data structures that we know so far, or it will be a uh, stack and queues. All these things you should be aware of, right? So here I would say if you will be able to solve easy level problems, easy level problems, you can crack the DSA round in case of a service based companies I'm talking about. Apart from this, you required a good understanding of the aptitude round where there will be a questions with respect to aptitude and the group discussions will also happen. Group discussions will also happen. So. This is something with respect to the companies if you are applying with respect to service based companies. So these are the three categories, right? I hope you will be able to understand now. So I am talking as of now with respect to service based company. Now when we move towards product based, what is the requirement? Product based companies like those who have their own products and they're working on their own on, the, on their own products like Microsoft, Google, Amazon. Uh, you know, there are so many companies, right? Right. So here, when I'm talking about product based companies, the target is to see a very good problem solving skill person, those who will be having a good problem solving skill set. Now, they will judge you on the basis of your DSA knowledge at the very first round itself. And even the technical round will also focus on the DSA itself where they can ask you the questions from easy to intermediate level, easy to intermediate level. What does that mean? The meaning is they can ask you the questions with respect to trees. They can ask you the questions with respect to graphs. They can ask you with respect to DP dynamic programming, right? Dynamic programming. They can ask you the questions with respect to a recursion a very, very important concept. They can ask you the questions with respect to maybe backtracking. All these concepts you should be aware of if you are preparing or if you want to go to any product based company. Now, 
CTC wise also, if you will see, there is a lot much difference between the CTC of service based versus product based. Here, the CTC is also very high. You will observe CTC is also very high as comparable to service based companies. So that's why the, the demand with respect to you as per the skill set will be also high. So if you are preparing for product based companies, you should have a good understanding of all the concepts with respect to DSA. Your focus, even though you are from data science background, even though you are from, uh, you know, uh, full stack web development background, even though you are from Java developer background, you should be able to solve at least easy to moderate level problems with respect to lead code, you can say in DSA. Then comes the third category, which I am calling as a startups. Now here the objective is, you know, majorly focusing on the development part because they really want you to develop a product or develop end to end pipeline. Here, many startups might not even ask you the questions with respect to DSA. They will directly, if suppose you are applying for data science position, they'll di directly jump to data science concept and will judge you on the basis of your coding skills. Will judge you on the basis of whether you know how we can do end to end uh, pipeline or not. That is the real objective. So their development or building of a complete pipeline is the real objective. But then there comes a few startups which also focuses on the DSA part and they will be having three rounds where again the very first round is of DSA. Then they will focus on the development and the building of a complete end to end pipeline per se. If you really want to, you know, uh, learn more and if you really want to spend more time in the initial phase, I would suggest go for startups. It's not at all bad. Although you might feel sometimes that there is no work life balance in startups, but that is a cons part. But the pros part is that the learning in the very initial phase of your life, you will be able to get in a startup itself where you will be, uh, you know, you will say that you are the only one who is doing, doing the stuff from starting of the project to the ending where you are doing a, a model deployment. But on the same hand, when you go for product based companies or service based companies, because they are MNCs, they have a bigger team, you will be assigned some part of that project. So you don't know the end to end pipeline of any projects. So that is something which is different uh, regarding CTC. You can say that it's might, it depends which startup you are joining. It can be the similar one. It can be higher than product based companies. It can be lower than product based companies. So, but here you will be having for sure the lesser CTC as comparable to in service based companies as comparable to product based companies. So all in all, what I want to say here, depending upon, see, when you are starting your journey um, with respect to after graduating from your college, any of the companies is fine. Service one, product one, startups, because you are someone who don't know anything as per the industry per se. So gaining the experience itself and learning from each and every part of the company, you will learn a lot, whether you are joining service, product or startup. You will gain a lot of knowledge because you are at the starting phase of your career and do spend your time, you know, on self-exploring yourself on apart from the service that you are doing, apart from the job that you are doing, explore other stuffs because when we are in a college, we might not get the time and we are focusing on, you know, upgrading our CGP and all those stuffs. But when you are joining some industry, try to learn as much as you can. Apart from your job itself, you can learn from other people who are from other teams, right? So that is something which I really want to say here. So according to which company you are targeting, your level of DSA will get changed. Your coding level will, will get changed. But in a nutshell, in a nutshell, if you have a, you know, basic to intermediate level understanding of the concepts of DSA, you can definitely, I would say 95% chances are there that you will be able to crack any of the company. Still there are 5% chances where they might ask you the questions with respect to advanced data structures. They can ask you the questions with respect to, you know, advanced concepts of uh, segment trees or, you know, uh, they can ask the questions, questions with respect to skip list, all those things 
mathematics portion but 95 percent chances are there that you will be easily able to crack that so i would say if you have the time prepare for you know easy to intermediate level problems with respect to the coding part and this video is specifically to crack the jobs not for the competitive programming please don't get confused between these two words so accordingly try to do the preparation and all the very best i hope that whatsoever dreams you have you will be able to fulfill that and i hope that now whosoever will ask me the question i can forward this video to those particular students who are asking me these questions again and again and this will give you an insight that what should be your strategy to prepare for the companies specifically again i am saying nothing is good or bad everything is having their own good experiences and the bad experiences so it's all depend on you what you have dreamed of for yourself and uh, with this let's end this video if you find this video insightful i hope you you do uh, so that uh, you will be able to share this with everyone hit the like button and i'll see you all in my next upcoming videos